here and welcome back to another video if you have made it this far you have officially made it to day 25 of vlogmas so give yourselves a round of applause thank y'all so much for tuning back into yet another video with me today's video is going to be a little different you know i decided to switch up the 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 vibe don't mind my ribbons and my christmas tree because yeah first time doing them didn't know what i was doing but Anyways, a new setting. Um, I decided to film in my living room today. So it's the last day of Vlogmas. I wanted to give y'all something else to look at. So I'm in my living room, the Christmas tree. I, okay, before we get started, this is going to be a truth or drink video. I asked my followers on Instagram uh, to ask me some questions and that I was gonna play this truth or drink game. So we're here. So I went to the ABC store um, today when I got off and I don't know why I waited so late, but they only had this 1800, so I'm going to be taking shots of this, Jesus. Uh, if, if I don't wanna answer the questions. So I did read some questions and some I did not. So we're just gonna go ahead, get into it. Disclaimer, before I do start this, if you are under the age of, what is it, 18, 21, I do not encourage you to drink. This video is not to encourage heavy drinking or drinking and driving. Please don't drink and drive and make sure you guys are driving responsibly. So if you're underage, do not drink this video. Again, 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 is not to encourage any kind of underage drinking or drinking or driving while under the influence. So yeah, with that being said, let's go ahead and get into the video. So I said I'm only going to answer 15 questions. And you know what? Let's take a shot to pregame. How about that? I have my shot cup here and I do have a chaser on the side because your girl, she does not like shots. So I'm going to go ahead and pour up a shot and I am going to pour a baby one because I'm here by myself and I can do that. Ain't nobody here to force me to, okay, that's maybe not a baby one, but shots up. Ugh, I hate shots, okay. Oh, this isn't gonna be fun. Nah, I'm kidding. This is gonna be fun, so. Let's get into it. All right, so question number one. Would you date a white guy? <sighs> Jesus, okay. White men are cute. Would I date one and take one seriously? No. Just because I don't, I don't, I've never been with a white guy before. I've had a crush on a white guy, but that was like back in middle high school. Um, but to take seriously, no, I just don't think that they, I know I'm a lot, <laughs> I'm a lot to handle. And sometimes that side comes out. I don't think that a Caucasian man would be able to handle that side of me. So I need my, whoever I'm dating to be able to handle all aspects of me. And I don't think that a, a white guy could, could handle that. So the answer is no. Number two, <laughs> exactly how single are you? 
Y'all, I don't know if I'm ready to talk about that. You guys do know that there's a difference between single and single, single, right? All right, because I don't wanna take a shot, I am just single. I haven't gotten to single, single yet. So, yeah, number three. Let me look through. Is it true that you want kids? Yes, I do want kids. I want a girl. I want one child, one to two children, but I do want girls. So yes, I do want to have children. Let's see, number four. Number four is, <laughs> have you ever cheated or helped someone else cheat? Let me go ahead and pull up this shot because I ain't got time. I do not have time for no questions. No question. Shots up. This is shot number one because the first shot was a pregame, so. <laughs> Shots up to that. That is so gross. Oh my God. That was four, right? All right, I'm looking through some of these because y'all played. <laughs> mm. Five, what's your longest relationship? My longest relationship has been four and a half years. Prob probably a little over four and a half, not yet five, but I'll say four and a half. That was five. Whoo, number six. <laughs> Have you ever had a secret relationship? So it depends on what you mean by secret relationship. Have I had have I had a boyfriend, like an undercover boyfriend? Nah, never that. Have I had someone that I was dealing with that nobody else knew about? Yes. Number seven, what's your favorite drink? Number eight, what do your current undergarments look like? So, I feel like this is TMI, but everyone wears undergarments. Have on a black bra in black um, boy shorts. Number nine. She asked me. How are you able to move on from your last relationship? I'm struggling. Okay, sis, so. We've all been there. Let's just start there. Um, when it comes to moving on, you have to decide to put yourself first. Each situation is different. So you gotta just make sure that you put yourself first and your needs and want first, because I'm sure if you're in a relationship, you haven't been, um, you haven't been putting yourself first and you've been putting the needs of other people ahead of yours. So firstly, you just have to make up your mind that you do this time want to put yourself first, know what you want, put yourself first and move forward in that regard. Um, I hope that answers your question. Also, I'm the type of person if this ain't dead, why are you here? So I block. The block button is your best friend, and I mean blocking from social media, I mean blocking from your phone, like there's no way you can contact me unless, <laughs> this is funny, unless you're calling me from a private number. So, um, yeah, choose you, know it, well first of all, know what you want, 
choose you, make up your mind to choose you every time and do other things to fill your time. Like life is so much more than about relationships. Like there's so much more that you could be doing stuff to like feed your spirit, feed your mind. Um, there's just a whole world out there that you can get to know and learn and just in, in doing that, you just become a better you in the process. So hopefully that answered your question, girl. Uh, I think that was number nine. Let me see. Number 10 is, I see which one of these I want to answer. <laughs> Let's start here. Have you ever told someone you wouldn't be home just so they wouldn't come over to see you? Yes. Yes, I have. Baby, one thing about it, one thing about it, cause Shayla, cause Shayla does not like to be bothered all the time. Cause Shayla, loves, my camera cut off, but what I was saying is, Shayla does not like to be bothered all the time. I love my alone time. If I don't want to see nobody, I don't want to see nobody. But I hate hurting people's feelings too. Like I hate, I guess saying no in a way. Um, because I can get to a place where I can be by myself, not talk to nobody for a long period of time. And I just don't want that to come off as being like rude or, you know, anything like that. So. Yeah, I've done it, and I'll do it again. I sure will. Tell us about the last dream you can remember. I think, y'all, y'all, I had a dream. And I'm not gonna tell y'all, I'm about to take a shot, but I had a dream just like, night before last, and girl, what I will say, is it was about a man. That's what I'm gonna say. So I'm gonna go ahead, take the shot, baby. What is this, shot number two or three? I don't know. Was that question number 11? I can't remember. All right, let's go. Ugh. something that I really like about myself so I like that um, I have a big heart sometimes it gets me in trouble but I really do have a big heart I also love the fact that I um, I'm caring and I'm genuine like if I tell you I love you I love you if I don't like you I don't like you like and it's very like obvious which one, you know, which side you fall on. But I am very genuine and I mean what I say. And um, I know like when I was growing up, my mom used to be like, you're too nice or you just say yes all the time or you let people run over you. But um, I like now how I've changed and I stand up for myself and how I don't take no shit basically. So yeah. So I think that was 12 or 13. Let's say 12 and let's answer four more questions. Um, what's something weird that you do that not a lot of people know about? <laughs> okay y'all, so my friends will tell you, I'm a country girl. I'm a country girl and if I have to use the bathroom, I have to use the bathroom. So, I pee outside a lot. Ew, that's so country, that's so ghetto, ew. Baby girl, yes. I pee outside a lot. <laughs> Next question, what's your sign? I'm a Gemini. So sweet on both sides. Next question is, damn, y'all in my business? Don't do that. You in my business? Don't do that. Somebody asked me, 
are you sexually active? And because I'm a G and I'm honest, per, no, I'm kidding. I am celibate. I am on this whole celibate journey. Um, and you know what? I think it's working out so well because being celibate and having a clear mind, nobody deserves me. Nobody. Like, I'm able to think with a clear mind. Um, like, my, my, my mind or judgment isn't clouded or crowded because of ding dong. Like, I'm just able to be more productive in my time. I'm able to like, just enjoy me and not have to, when you have sex, when you have sex, like, first of all, it's draining. Secondly, you got all this other stuff, like, because now my feelings involved. And I saw something, um, what was it? I think it was Justin L.A. Boy uh, put a post up and he was like, you know what, the post came up today, so let me actually find it. All right, because y'all posted a lot. It's, um, oh, it wasn't Justin L.A. Boy. It's, um, Self Love Healer. I reposted it, somebody posted it. But they said, casual sex is dead. I wanna do you, feed you, and care for you, and support your goals and do stuff with you and help you out and nap with you, damn it. And it, that is so me like, casual, I mean, casual sex used to be cool, but now in my adult life, um, I just want more, like you gotta show me more, like you gotta bring more to the, ta to the table than just ding dong, like. What else do you have to offer? And then, like, I'm worth so much more. Like, what are you, come on. We're not giving this away for free, babe. Come on. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. But it, I just went all out of the, all out of the thing, all out of the question. But, um, I'm currently celibate and I've been celibate for almost half a year now. So, yay me. Um, I'm super proud of myself though. Um, of course, there's been times where I could have, you know, I could have had it, but I chose not to because I'm um, beginning to value myself a whole lot more. And um, as women, this is just a real honest moment with y'all. I have not always been the type, I haven't always thought about it that way, is what I'm gonna say. And I guess that does play into me valuing myself. But the older I get and the more you just see different things and learn the value of that, you won't just let anybody touch you. You won't just let anybody, F having sex, but you you won't just let anybody call your phone, text you. You just won't let anybody engage with you because that's energy and the energy it takes to send a text or have a phone conversation with somebody. It's not worth it most of the times because honestly, some men and I'm gonna say I'm I'm speaking on my behalf right now. Men that have been trying to get at me are just not worth my time. So I could put that energy in some, something else. Like, why are you here? You're not about to be texting me what you're doing all day because I'm busy. Every day. All hours of the day. What else you got? I was just talking to somebody about, um, who was I talking to, Keisha? Was I talking to Keisha? I think it was Keisha, but we were we were just like, she was saying something like, I don't have time to be making all the plans. It's time for somebody to do that for me because the type of women we are, if we like somebody, we go all out. And sometimes that 
is a downfall on us because some men can't reciprocate what all we have to offer. Um, and we've learned that in our relationships. Um, so it's just the older we get, the more we learn, the more we value ourselves, the smarter we get, and the more we, you know, don't take our time for granted because there's someone out there that is ready, willing, and able to do whatever we ask or require, require of them. So, yeah, I know I just went off on a tangent, but that's real. Let me get back to these questions. Have you ever had a one night stand? <laughs> no, never, never had a one night stand. I'm gonna answer two more questions and then we are done because I don't even know if, if it's been two or three shots, but I'm a lightweight and they creeping up on me and I can tell because my eyes my eyes are getting low. All right, two more questions. Let's make these good. Have you ever went through your man's phone? I will tell you, when I was in college, I think that was the only time I went through my man's phone. When I was in college, yes. In my adult years, like after I graduated school, mm-mm. -mm. No matter who I'm dealing with, I have not gone through anyone else's phone. And it's just like a, a first of all, it's a trust thing. Also, if I have if I feel like I have to do that much, it's not worth it. The relationship's not worth it. So I have done that before um, in a past relationship, but I have not done that as a grown woman. So yeah. Alright, one more question. Let's make this good let's make this good mm. all right y'all so we're gonna end this with a bang the last question the last question is have you ever thought about someone else other than the person you were having sex with Hey, cause stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. We, I, I see we ending this this game with a bang. <laughs> Y'all was not playing with these questions. <laughs> Y'all wrong for that. Y'all wrong for that. Shots up. Let's take this shot together. Happy Vlogmas, y'all. Mm. all right y'all so that's the end of my truth or drink game shout out to y'all for asking those questions and not being afraid i love y'all also shout out to reaching the last day of vlogmas y'all don't know how much i appreciate each and every one of you who took the time out to watch my video um my videos to comment on my videos to share when I upload a blog, like you guys mean so much to me and I really appreciate it. Um, gosh, I feel like this is my end of the year vlog, but <laughs> um, oh yeah. So I do want to make another video before New Year's. Let me know like what kind of video I should make, whether I should make it like into a blog, whether I should do like a sit down like a recap of 2020, what I, I mean, 2021, what I've learned. I did that last year. Uh, if I could switch it up a bit, I would really appreciate that. But let me let me know what you guys wanna see. And um, I'll definitely look into filming that type of video for you guys. Uh, I mean, it could be anything. Just let me know your ideas and thoughts about what my last video of 2021 should be about. I'm. I'm just so excited for 2022. Um, I know God is going to do some amazing things. <sighs> we just have a lot to look forward to, girl. God showed out this year, but I know next year he's going to do even more. And I know I'm talking about God 
and I didn't take these shots, but y'all, you don't know my story. You don't know my story. That's all I can say. God has been so good to me this year. So regardless of the fact that we just played this game or not, <laughs> God has been so good and I'm forever grateful, forever thankful. Um, again, thank you. Thank you so much for tuning back into my Vlogmas. I love you guys and I'm gonna go ahead and close out this video. Make sure to like, comment, thumbs up, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. I love y'all. Good night. <laughs>